one of the core strategies that have helped me be able to earn a full-time living and make a full-time career out of YouTube and content creation is being able to put my content and my videos in the hands of people specifically searching for them so that I can make more money off of AdSense so that I could triple the revenue I make through my affiliates and earn a full-time living. That way, if I'm taking a week off, if I'm traveling, if God forbid I'm sick, if for some reason I don't have the time to film a video that week, my channel is still actively and passively making me revenue and earning me a salary. Now on my video all about my little secrets and hacks to making six figures with affiliate marketing, I got a ton of comments and questions all about how do you actually figure out what people are searching for? How do you know what questions or products or brands to actually target? How can you be able to land your content in the hands of people specifically searching for it? So in this video, I'm going to walk you guys and anybody else searching for this topic or this tutorial step by step through the entire process of how I do this for myself. Trust me, if I've been able to make six figures like this, anybody can. So I think it's probably the best way possible to walk you guys through this if I show you step by step how I would do this for this video you're watching right now. So this is a video I'm uploading either tomorrow or the day after. So I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how I'm going to do my keyword research for this video in specific. So first I open up vidIQ and you can do this with really any keyword research tool, whether it's vidIQ, TubeBuddy, Morning Fame, what have you. If you guys want to try this one out, but you're not quite sure yet about committing to it or actually putting the money into it, I'm going to have a link down below in my description box, which will get you a full month of access to vidIQ for $1. That way you can try out this process on some of your videos without having to fully invest into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over onto vidIQ, open up the keywords tool and input in my topic. Now at this point, I don't know yet exactly what people are searching for, what keywords have the highest search volume. So whatever I input into the search bar is pretty much a generic or more general topic. In this case, the video is about keyword research, so that is what I'm inputting. Then what's going to happen is once you actually do your search, it's going to lead you to a massive dashboard full of data for you to use in your optimization. This is what's going to help you to put your video in the hands of people specifically searching for that topic, that brand, that product, so that not only only is your video going to get views today, not only are you potentially going to convert sales today from your video, but your video is actually going to keep getting views days, weeks, months, even years after you first upload it and continue making you passive money. Whenever somebody comes onto YouTube and they search for a topic I've made a video about before, products I've mentioned, products I've promoted, whether I am sat here filming a video or on a beach somewhere in Florida, those videos are still getting views, they're still converting sales, and they're still making money. So that in a nutshell is sort of how my strategy works. I optimize my videos, I rank them in search, I get targeted traffic from people searching for that topic, convert those views into sales, and make passive revenue. So now when you look at that dashboard full of data, it's actually a lot less overwhelming than it looks. You really want to think more like a human and a lot less like a machine. You want to sort of put yourself in the shoes of the person coming onto YouTube looking for a tutorial, looking for a specific product or brand. So first you want to pay attention to the keyword overview. Basically the first keyword you've just searched for, you want to look at both the search volume and competition. The search volume very simply tells you how many people on YouTube are searching for this topic currently. Then the competition basically tells you how many other videos out there are competing against yours for views. If one or both of the search volume and the competition are both green, then it's a really great keyword to use. If either or both of those are closer to more of an orange red color, it's a not so great keyword to use, either because not enough people are searching for that topic or it's highly competitive. And then you're basically going to do the exact same thing with every one of the other sections in your dashboard. Under related keywords, under matching terms, under questions, you basically go through each one of these sections and look for keywords that have both a highly green search volume and competition. Those are the keywords you want to make a note of, write down somewhere, copy paste, and use in your optimization. So then once I've done all of my keyword research, once I have planned, filmed, and edited my new video, once I'm finally ready to sit down and upload that video to YouTube, 
Now it's time to optimize my video to actually rank in search and reach those targeted views. So basically what it is you're doing is you're setting up the metadata of your video to actually trigger the YouTube algorithm every time somebody is searching for that content. So let's say somebody is looking for a fall try on haul because they want to know what kind of fashion is out there, what they should be buying, some really cute clothes to stock up on for the fall. You basically want your fall try on clothing haul to trigger the algorithm when that person makes that search on YouTube. YouTube so that your video comes up as a search result, they watch that video, and you're then able to convert sales through your affiliate links of the clothing you're promoting. So when I'm uploading a video and optimizing the metadata of my video, I'm focusing on title, description, and tag box. And I would say the order of importance of those three sections is probably title, description box, then tag box. So when I am uploading my video to YouTube, I have vidIQ's keyword tool open in one tab, then I have my video upload in another tab and use them side by side. I'm then going to go through every one of those keywords I have just researched that I've decided I'm going to use because it has a good search volume and competition. I'm going to take as many of those keywords as possible and stick them in my tag box until it's full. YouTube allows up to 500 characters in your tag box, so I use as many of them as possible. Then once my tag box is all full of keywords, I'm then going to copy paste my entire tag box and create sort of like a little word cloud at the bottom of my description. This is what's really going to trigger the algorithm anytime somebody searches for any one of those keywords. Rather than only targeting keyword research and only reaching somebody who is searching for keyword research, I am all at once targeting a bunch of related and relevant keywords so that if somebody is searching for keyword research or how to do keyword research or keyword research tools, my video is going to trigger YouTube's algorithm for every single one of those searches and get me more view potential and more money potential. So then once I have all those keywords at the bottom of my description, I then pick a couple of the top and best keywords and put those in sort of a little description at the top of the box. If you've ever looked at the search results of anything you've searched for on YouTube, usually it's the two first lines of every single video's description that is highlighted. So that is what I try to do when I'm writing my description at the top of the box. I try to have the key keywords at the very top of the first two lines. And then the final step of the optimization process is crafting my video title where I usually try to have one or two keywords in sort of a combination so that again my video is triggering the YouTube algorithm anytime somebody searches up one or both of those keywords. Then once you've completed all three of those steps your video is perfectly optimized it is ready to rank in search and get views and convert sales and make money and you are then ready to upload and let your video do its thing. So that for all those of you who are asking in the comments of my affiliate marketing video is how I go about my keyword research process. This is how I really figure out what are people searching for on YouTube and Google. This is how I figure out what are the best brands and products for me to be promoting and making videos about. What are things my target audience is really searching for? What are their pain points? What are things I can help them with? Because at the end of the day, living in the era of inflation and people sort of like penny crunching and having to be more savvy with their money, people are really only going to invest in things you are promoting if it actually serves them some kind of use and it's worth the investment investment. So you just want to make sure that you are targeting things people are actually searching for, your content is actually going to help you convert sales, and that is sort of my step-by-step -step process of how I do all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful. If you guys have any more comments or questions, leave them down below, I answer all of my questions and comments. As always, love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!